Are you happy? Are you really? This is Adam from Thoughts in Motion and I'm going to tell you why you might not actually be as fucking happy as you think. Okay, so the first thing I want to put forward to you is the idea of instant gratification. And as a society today, we are addicted to this instant gratification. We are so addicted to the fact that we can get gratification from, you know, almost instant, like that. You want something? Bang, it's there. You want to watch a movie? Stream it online. You want to get a date? Swipe right on Tinder. You know, you want to order something? You want to, you, want to, you know, a new dildo for your girlfriend? You order it off Amazon, it's there the next day. You know, you don't have to wait for anything. You don't have to do any back It's just like, boom, it's there. Okay, and this is the problem because past generations, they didn't have that. They had to work for everything. They had to do everything step by step. They had to take the long process, okay? But as our generation, as a millennial generation, so to speak, um, we, we don't really have that patience now because we can get everything now apart from the things that really matter. Like happiness, peace, job security, all those things take ages, you know? It's like if someone says to me, I'm not happy in my job, and I'm like, well, why not? And they're like, well, I'm not as forward in it as I think I should be. So, well, how long have you been there? Six months. It's like, dude, you've been there six months. Six months. And you expect to be, what, a manager or a CEO? It doesn't work that way. It's like that's your brain telling you that you're impatient now because you're used to getting everything like that. You know? A really good, a really good thing about this is I, when I was a kid, I used to love Batman toys, okay? I still do. <laughs> in a weird way. If you ever see my room, it's just full of Batman shit. But as a kid, I loved Batman. And one day, my dad brings home uh, a toy of um, Robin, you know, Batman's psychic. And he says, look, I've got you this. And I'm like, woo, I got a new toy. And he's like, but you can't have it yet. You know, you've got to do some chores and stuff around the house first. And I'm like, really? If I was a kid, I would have went, fuck you, right? I really wanted it there and then, right? And what ended up happening was, I worked hard to get it. And after I got it, like a month and a bit later, because my dad was a dick back then, clearly, um, after I got it, I looked after it. I cherished it more than any of the rest of them because I had to work for it. I worked for that thing more than any of the rest of them that I just got there and then. That's where the real happiness comes from, is that you, you, ha you take time to get something. It's like the journey of getting it. I know that's like a small example, but it's like the journey of getting it. Like, if you think that you know, you're know you gonna be where you wanna be in a year or a year's two's time, it's not gonna happen. You need to plan for the five years, the 10 years, the 20 years, okay? Carl, for example, behind the camera has, you know, he's been practicing his guitar and his craft for 10 years, and now he's just starting to make headway. That's 10 years he's put into that. 10 fucking years he's put into that practice. That's insane, you know? And I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna get you know, tons of YouTube views, and I've been doing this a year. Like, that's not gonna happen. The views aren't gonna shoot up just because I put something out there now. Everyone's doing that now, but everyone is impatient. Everyone is impatient and just thinks that that'll make them happy. But the next point I wanna to put to you is quite an interesting one. And it goes a little bit deeper into psychology now, okay? So we, we assume that the thing that we want will make us happy. We assume that, you know, we get a girlfriend, we're happy. You know, we get a new pair of shoes, we're happy. We get, you know, we go to the cinema with our friends, happy but it's not real happiness that's a feeling of being happy it's not the state of being happy okay so there's a difference there the feeling of being happy um, is similar to the feeling you get when you smoke or you drink or you gamble that little dirty high that like that dopamine spike poof, you get a text message boom I'm happy I'm only happy when I'm texting people no you're not it's a fake happiness produced by dopamine in your brain in your brain and body so where does the real happiness come from? The real happiness, as cliche as it sounds, comes from inside. It comes from inner peace, being at peace with yourself. Because most people walk around every day and inside they feel like a piece of shit. They don't believe they are worth anything. They don't believe that they have a meaning. They don't believe um, they're actually happy. All they believe is, you know, I'm gonna chase this thing, the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And it's always more, always more, always more. There's never enough. You know, I'm gonna get a new girlfriend, bang, you get her. All right, okay, what next? You know, I get a new pair of shoes. Oh, look, lovely new shoes. Novelty's worn off. Okay, now I want a new shirt. It's just an endless cycle of shit that's trying to make you happy, but it doesn't actually make you happy. So what does actually make you happy is the inner peace. The peace that you get from loving yourself. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. 
okay? We're all trying to find it. We're all trying to find it, but no one is finding it. No one is finding this happiness that, you know, we, we all seem to seek in our lives, you know? If you want something, why do you want it? You know? If you want a new pair, like I said, you want a new pair of shoes, why? Because it makes you feel happy. You know? You want to go somewhere, why? Because it makes you feel happy. Everything we do, everything we do in life is to make us feel happy. Everything we do is chasing that feeling of happiness. Everything we do is just like, I want to be happy so bad, I want this, this will make me happy, this will make me happy, this will make me happy, but it never does. It's just covering up a wound with a plaster and not addressing the core issues. That's all it is. So if you really want to be happy, start working on yourself. Start, stop looking at material things. You want to be happy, start doing the things that, you know, connect with you as a human being. Those things that you really love to do, that make you feel at peace. You know, like meditation, things like that. These things, they build up a, they build up a happiness inside that just says, I am actually good enough. I am happy inside. I don't need all these things to be happy. I am just happy. If you can focus on your default state of happiness and avoid becoming addicted to dopamine and instant gratification, you'll start to sink into that deep core happiness that we all look for in life. This was Adam from Thoughts in Motion. I will see you in the next video.